In this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use the shape tool to add graphic elements to your text-based designs, giving them that little extra pop to help them stand out in a sea of shirts of text-based only designs. Um, this is very easy, very short, like I said before. Go ahead and download the file in the description so you can follow along. Do me a favor, if you find this video helpful, please subscribe and click the like button. Okay, go ahead and open the file up. If you don't have it, grab it from the link in the description below. So what we're gonna be doing here today is we're gonna be using the shape tool, actually the ellipse tool, um, to add some simple design elements that will make this design stand out um, from its counterparts on say March by Amazon or wherever. Um, if they're just doing designs that are text-based only, then you will have some little extra elements that'll give it more of a professional look. It's very easy to do. So first off, what I want to do is I want to make a copy of this group one. So it's already highlighted. So go ahead and hold down control, click J. We've made a copy. Deselect the visibility here. Now highlight group one and come down here to add a new layer just below group one copy. Okay, so now we have a blank layer and what we're going to do is we're going to add our um, shape tool elements to this layer because we want these elements below this design and you'll see why very shortly so come over here to the shape tool right click scroll down to the ellipse tool come up to the top make sure fill is black make sure stroke is off or crossed out um, you'll see now you have this little crosshair for your mouse and that's good. This is gonna show you where the ellipse is gonna start. But um, I think first off, let's go ahead and turn on the background layer. It'll make it easier to work. There you go. So go ahead and bring the mouse over to about here. Click and just basically drag to the side, something like that. And you can drag up or down because what we wanna do is we wanna create a thin line with pointed ends. And so I kinda of think that that's pretty good. Once you have that, just let go. and. You can see what it did is it basically created a spear-like element. Um, let's go ahead and turn on transform controls. If you don't have transform controls on, it's just this little click button here. Also, I like to have auto select on. Uh, you can only see these when you have the move tool selected. So make sure you have move tool selected. Go ahead and, and click auto select and show transform controls. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna click on this and I wanna add three of these down here and we're gonna make them progressively smaller. Hold down Alt and drag it down. Now I've made one copy of that and now I wanna I want do two more, so do the same. Hold down Alt, drag it down and without letting go of Alt, go ahead, click and drag it down. Now we have three on the bottom and you know one up here in the middle. Let's go ahead and shrink this one make sure transform controls are on hold down alt and shift make sure you hold down shift and then drag it in and it will shrink both sides at the same time there you go now press enter mouse up to the next one go ahead and grab it hold down alt and shift remember shift it's very important drag it in just kind of eyeball it there there you go nice very nice very nice looks pretty good now uh, as you can see we have one problem here this line just crossing through may talk makes it pretty hard to read and it just doesn't look good here's the trick we're gonna add a stroke to may talk so it will give separation like we did in the video before it'll give separation um, from the ellipse here and this text and to do that, we need to make sure that this is rasterized, but we're gonna go ahead and rasterize all of these ellipses. To do that, let's go ahead and put them all in one group. So highlight ellipse copy one, hold down shift, bring the mouse down over to ellipse one, click that now that they're all highlighted, come down here, create new group. Now we have a new group. Right click on this group and just merge it. And so what that does is that rasterizes everything 
all at once. So instead of having to come over here and rasterize each one, you know, right click on the layer, and, you know, come up to rasterize layer, um, just merging it will rasterize it. Now they're editable. Now the reason I created a copy here is because I want to highlight this, come down to effects, come up to stroke, boom, added a stroke. Now you want to make sure that the color is set to the same color as the background layer. This is just so it makes it easier to see. So it's white, just drag it up here to the top left hand corner. I'm using uh, pixels at 38, so slide that over to 38 if it's not, click OK. See, now you can see already we have the separation. It, it looks a lot better. Without the stroke, this is what it looks like. See, now you can see how a stroke is very useful. What we want to do now is we want to use this stroke basically as an eraser to punch out or knock out, like we did in a previous video, parts of this ellipse. And to do that, the stroke needs to be rasterized uh, because if we just click on here, control, it's going to choose everything aside from the stroke. So it's going to end up not selecting the stroke for us to use it as an eraser. We want to use the stroke, so um, just control D to get rid of the selection. To do that, to rasterize this, just come over here, right click, scroll up to rasterize layer style. There we go. Um, mouse over to this little lower corner right here, hold down control, click that. Now you can see it's different. It it is selected outside of the stroke, and that's exactly what we want. So with that selected and, and you know, these little ants marching around here, come down here to group two, highlight group two, press delete. Okay. And what that did is that deleted uh, the parts of this ellipse that we want to delete it. Now to remove the selection, press control D. There we go. Now we can Let's go ahead and highlight group one. And uh, now we can deselect visibility on group one copy. Um, and there you go. So there's no stroke here anymore. We've removed the stroke and you can see now there's there actually is no stroke there, but it's erased the portions of the design that were below the stroke. One more thing I wanna do is I wanna get rid of this piece of ellipse, that little piece of ellipse, and that piece of the ellipse. Go ahead and deselect visibility on group one layer there. I guess we can turn on the background layer just to make it easier to see. Uh, select group two, so we have that highlighted, because um, we're gonna use the eraser tool. To use the eraser tool, you have to have the correct layer selected. If not, you'll end up erasing part of the design, you know, group one or a group one copy or something, and you don't wanna do that. And so mouse over to the eraser tool. If, if you don't have the eraser tool up, just right click and scroll up to eraser tool. If you have caps locks on, um, it's gonna look like this and that's gonna make it pretty tough to work with because you don't know the size that it's gonna be erasing. So make sure caps lock is off. You can use the bracket tools to increase or decrease the size of the eraser. Right about here is fine. But just mouse over here, click on it once, there you go, it's erased. Click on that once, that's erased. Click on that once, and that's erased. Now, what we have is we have erased the center portion here of this ellipse, so it doesn't interfere with the text, and it makes it easier to read. There you go. Okay, so that's one more tutorial down. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and click the like button. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you next time.